you're looking at on the screen is my mix template that I've been working on. I need to get a little bit more efficient, but I've been trying out this system. I think has sped things up and made things a lot easier. It's kind of defined my choices, if you like. I have all my plugins that I want to use instantiated already, instead of going through lists of plugins. So I thought if I can have this set up so that it's ready to go with my plugins on there, all my routing done, my track colors all set up as I like them. You know, it's going to speed things up, make things a lot easier. I've kind of taken this a little bit from the, the Pro Tools uh, session data import type thing. This is what I'm trying to achieve here. But in Reaper, we haven't got that kind of function, but we do have a thing called snapshots. So this is my mix template that I've been working on. This is the center. I've set it up a bit like a console. So I've got my VCA groups here in the middle. And to the left, I've got all my drums and my bass. And to the right, I've got all my acoustic guitars, electric guitars, and keyboards and vocals with my um, return effects at the end. So I've got all my plugins set up that I want for my vocals, for example. Everything else I like to um, work on in group folders. That's why I've got groups and then buses. Obviously, if I need to do something within a, an individual track, I will. I'm not limiting myself to that. And then in the center here, I've got all my VCA groups. The reason being, I've got a BCF 2000 in front of me. And I've got it set up so that this track here is the first on my BCF. And this one here is the last. So I've got all these eight elements of the mix at my fingertips in front of me. But what happened with the snapshots, it doesn't import all my grouping that I've set up in here. It's a shame. Uh, if anybody's got an idea about how to do it, I'd love to hear from you. Um, but unfortunately, when I import the snapshots, as you'll see, this I've got to set this all up again. It's not a big job to do, but it's just a little bit annoying. It would be more convenient if it came in with the uh, snapshot. So let's get to it. First of all, we need, we've need we got this all set up. I mean, the plugins on it, the, how I've got it set up doesn't matter. You do this for yourself. It's how you can import this into a track. Now if I quickly flip over here, we have a track that I've imported all the uh, audio files. And I've named them according to my naming system so that the, all the tracks are automatically colored. I've set that up in uh, auto color as you can see i've got all different names for tracks but this automatically colors all my tracks to the same color every time so that i can see straight away what i'm looking at so if we flip back over to the template and i'll bring this up again so what we need to do now is if we open up the extension and flip down here to snapshots if we click on it and open it up you can see i've already saved a few different versions of this so how to add the snapshot now if you want to save everything as we we do obviously want to do with a template we click on the full track mix here and just click new now what's happened is you can see this has popped up here this is now taking a, a snapshot of project as it is now with all the effects all the routing as you can see here, the pans, the volumes, the FX chains, the mutes, the solos, and the sends. So if we right click on the snapshot, we can export it. So we click export. Now I have a folder here that I saved them all in. We can then click save, and that, that's now saved in a folder ready to use. So if we close that, and we can open up the other project here. We want to open up the a snapshots window again so if we open it up and you see that this is now blank because this is to do with this session now I would always save the project for a start but also just as a secondary measure just click on new and that's now taking a snapshot of what we've got here now just with these audio tracks in the window so we can go back to that if we need to so if we right click on here now we can press import snapshot so we open this up go to our folder where we saved them and I'm going to choose one at random and click open so there we have our snapshot 
Now, on the left-hand side is our template, basically. And on the right, we can link up what um, audio tracks we want to, to link to our template. So you can see here it's actually found a couple itself. Uh, that's the lead vo the vocal. is now connected to our lead vocal track. And the toms are connected to our tom track. So if we can go through this, um, so our submix and our drum bass, we both need to create new. Our kick group, we need to create new. And then our kick in. So here we select our kick track. Okay. The kick out and the kick sample, we haven't got anything in these audio files. So what we'll do is both of them and our snare group, we will create new tracks. Because I want to keep them anyway, in case we do any parallel compression or anything like that on the kick. So then a snare, we can go through and do the same. And the snare down, I will create a new, just to keep it going, and the sample. So I'll go through this and set all this up, and I'll come back to you once it's done. You can see what's going on here. I'll just jump back in in here and as we can see we've actually got three solo guitars here. So what we'll have to do is I'll select one of these, the, one of the other solo guitar tracks and just click add. And that gives us another one so then we can go and select our solo three. So that will add a track in with the same routing and everything as the, the one that we had selected before. Okay, I've selected them all. I'm just checking through to make sure I haven't missed anything. You can see here where we haven't um, got any hi-hat tracks in here, so I've just left that as none. So there's acoustic guitars we don't have, so I haven't created any tracks there. So all my buses and groups, obviously I've created as new tracks, and any audio tracks I've linked up. As I pointed out with this solo guitar here, we needed an extra track, so I just added that in. And again... We haven't got second mics on any of the cabs on the electric guitars, so we don't need them. We haven't got any keyboards. So the vocals are all set up and our return effects. So we're ready to go. So all we need to do now is click OK. And we wait. It takes a second or two to because it's got to bring in all these tracks, set up all the, the buses, the routing, and instantiate all the effects. So there we are. That's it in. Now what's happened, you're probably thinking, oh, why is that looking like that? It doesn't look like the template. When we create any new tracks, they automatically get sent to the end of the session. So if you notice, all these tracks up to our backing vocals, they were our audio tracks that we already had. So they weren't new tracks, they were just being linked to our template. But all our um, submixes and everything that we created as new tracks are now being sent to the end of the session. It's not a big deal, we just need to drag them across. So if we select our up to the kick, we can drag this up. Okay, so if we go back down, find these kicks. Down to our snare, drag these up. So I'll carry on and just do this. I mean, even though they're out of order, all the routing is still set up as it should be. There's not nothing else to change. It's just the fact that the, the order has been moved a little. Okay, that's us all set up now. So, as I showed you before, we've got a VCS in the middle. All our routing, you can see, I've got it set up. Uh, if we go to some drums, for example, our um, overheads and drums rooms all go to our overhead drum group and our processing then goes on in here and these are then sent to our drum bus which then goes everything all our buses go into a sub mix um, I'm running out of here doing some um, analog summing so this is why I'm not using the envelope tracks at the moment I'm trying to work out how to do it in an easy way but I haven't quite got my head around it but for the moment, I'm working with uh, buses and etc. It just makes more sense to me. So the only problem I've got is the VCA groupings all disappear when I bring in a snapshot. So I have to sit and set set them all up. But I've got all my returns set up. 
you know, I'm ready to go. I can just start. All my wave files are there on the tracks. And it's all just ready to go. So that's how I'm importing session data, if you want to call it, as you're a Pro Tools guy, or how I'm setting up my mix templates and bringing them in. I mean, the template doesn't matter, the, um, the effects that I'm using doesn't matter. It's the method of bringing in, making your own template and how you bring it in, in an easy way. Okay, thanks. This will be my last video for 2015. So I just wanted to take this chance to wish you all a very happy Christmas and hope it's going to be a really good new year. So be safe, have fun over the holidays, and I'll see you after the festivities. Cheers, folks. Bye. Flying, flying.